<laughs> Come down, you're too tall. Oh, so okay. Wait, I'll go. Um, wait, I'll go up. You I'll go come up. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Keep It Crazy family. We are still in the St. John's house. Yes. We wanted to stay a few more days, but unfortunately, nah. we have to leave today. We're leaving. There's a storm coming through, and we want to not get stuck here, so we have to leave yeah. before it hits. It's going to hit the mountains between here and the valley. Yeah. We did it last year. So, we got stuck for an extra week. Yeah. And with the kids going back to school, we want to get home. It's just so. not going to happen. Anyway. Anyway. Plus, we wanted to pair up a couple of things that came yes. up in the comments in our last video. Yeah. So, number one. Destiny still lives here. She still lives here in St. John's. Very close. Yeah. So, she did not move away. Yeah. Yeah, so when they first got married, we wanted to keep them really close and there was a house for sale that was like in our backyard almost. Yes. So we bought that house and so they lived in it and then eventually they got their own house and moved out. Yes. So um, the house that we were selling yesterday is not our St. John's house, no. not this house it's we're not in. not this house. It was that house. Yes. If that makes sense. So anyway. Moving on, we okay. are getting ready to leave. We're gonna order lunch. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we won't have the fiasco we had yesterday. Yeah, and all, I know. All morning, <laughs> all morning, the kids have been just talking about memories that they have in this house. Yes. Remember when this happened? Remember when that happened? So we thought while we were eating lunch, we would have all of them tell you their favorite memories favorite that they memories have of, here. Oh, I know. So much here. We're sad to leave today. But anyway, yes. let's go get some lunch. Yes, let's get the lunch, bring it back, and we'll talk about it. What's your favorite memory? Being here? Oh, you want to know mine right away? Okay. <laughs> so mine, I know we've showed this on the channel before, but okay. my favorite is when we first got our alpacas. <laughs> that was going to be you yours. <laughs> okay, wait. Not when we first got them. Okay, just... wait, wait. Let me finish real quick. Okay, so it's when we got them and how the kids reacted to it and how they were like, it can sleep with me or they're saying something like that. And then we thought, I thought I'd heard that you can have yeah. alpacas in your, in house. your house. And so that, no, you cannot, no. Not that we experienced. No. In fact, at the end of that video, they pooped in the house and, and then our dog yeah. started to eat it. It was yeah, disgusting. It was yeah. That was not my favorite. I mean, I did love that memory. I have so many good memories here. My favorite memory with the alpacas was just taking care of them. We lost Al I and mean, it was like devastating. But then um, Paca really bonded to Jacob and was like, we were trying to get her to eat. And we got a new alpaca river and it was so cool to see them meet. And it was just, it was just a really, yeah. it was almost like a reunion. It was really it cool. Was, well, it was kind of sad because they're pack animals. And yes. so we, she was just all of a sudden doing so bad yeah, after our other one eating. passed away. She stopped eating. She was doing so bad. Yeah. And then we brought in River. Yeah. So. She needed a companion. But it was cool to see how they bond so quickly and with each other. It, just taking care of the alpacas. I loved it. I know. Absolutely I love loved it. it. Yeah. Are you coming with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what? shush. What are you guys doing? Gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go. Angry. Let's you, go. He's so angry. He's, yes. You're not hungry? No, I had my leftover uh, Big Jake from last night. From so yesterday? I just, I had the other half. But my favorite memory here is actually in this room. And it was when we did Christmas. I think it was the last Christmas here. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really. I know. don't know which one you're talking about. The what do you mean? The last Christmas. It was the one with the big gate, and then there were snowflakes coming off the ceiling. And then I don't know where we. The tree was right here because these couches weren't here. So the tree. We had three trees. I think four. I don't know how five. I think we had five trees. I don't know what was happening in here, but it was really, really crazy and red and white and very colorful. And so you liked the way it looked yeah. on Christmas morning. I don't know, this was like my favorite Christmas memory was in this room. Is your burrito good? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite memory? My favorite memory is when we did indoor camping. <gasps> That's a good one. That, that was good. so much fun. Indoor camping was very fun, and although I have many favorite memories here, my favorite one is probably when we did the crazy hair and dad shaved his head. <gasps> that was so crazy! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> dad! Why? That 
that was I scary. can't I still can't believe you did that. I can't believe I did that. I was so scared. I was like, what did you just do? I was like, oh no. But it was it was so much fun and I loved it. Luckily your hair grew back. Although it wasn't bad. It wasn't, I mean, the multicolors was bad. Yeah. That was yeah but bad. you do look good I'm bald. talking about the just shaved head. Yeah, you do look good so. with a shaved head. I yeah. thought it looked really good, so. Okay, you're next. My, I actually have two favorite memories and these are like equal. Mine was when we had to open all that, all that fan, fan mail. It was super fun. They want to open all of it now. There's so yeah. much. There's a lot of fan mail here. Are you guys ready? What you got? That is so Cute. So they clip on earrings. Ooh, that's, that's perfect. Mm. And the mystery doors. That was definitely. Oh, the mystery the doors. Mystery yeah. doors. The mystery doors were a lot of fun. I'm gonna go with door number three. All right, open up door number three. Oh. oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> uh, no, she's not. <laughs> here we go. We I, should do that again. I got the mystery food and I loved it. It was like, um, it was like a watermelon, but it was so good. Oh, that you had to try? Yeah, it was so good. My favorite thing that we did in this house was definitely pranking Crystal's family. Oh, that was really fun. Yes, we did I, it back and forth. Back and forth, and I loved it all. Yeah, that and was I really good. I think that we won. Oh, yes. we won. We yes. won the prank wars. You're next. My favorite memory about this house is when there was a ghost in the backyard. Well, <laughs> everyone thought there was yeah. a ghost in the backyard. It was actually Harlan. It was Harlan. It was, it was a reflection. A it was like a reflection off of the glass. Mm -hmm. But it did look like a ghost. It looked really scary. It totally did. Really scary. My favorite memory about St. John's is Trey Control Today. <laughs> uh, we did do Trey oh, Controls Today. Oh, that's right. That was such a fun day. We should do that again. Yes. Wanna do Trey Controls Today again? Mm -hmm. That looks it's, really good. It's spicy. Uh, There's jalapenos in it. But my favorite video we did at this house, probably just all the challenges and stuff. The dad jokes one was so funny. Oh, dad jokes. I just wanted to let you guys know that I used to be addicted to the hokey pokey, but I turned myself around. <laughs> I thought it was going to bomb too, but it was so funny. Everybody loved it, so. We should do that one again. We don't do we don't do challenges like we I used to. I miss the challenges because I used to win them all the time. Uh, <laughs> okay, bring back the challenges. Oh no! <laughs> we're all loaded up, and it is time to leave St. John's. So I'm we're so all sad. gonna say goodbye to St. John's. Bye, St. John's. Bye, St. John's. Bye, St. John's. Are you glad to be back? Yes. Yes. Very, did yes. you like St. John's? I did. It was, it was awesome. Yes. But nice weather. Oh, I'm glad you came with us. Yeah. Thank you. Come here. Let's go. Oh, why are you wet? Aww. Hi. She oh. missed you. Hi. Hi. Hi, Maya. Woo. We got some crazy dogs. Crazy. We are back home. It is, it's good to be here in the valley too. I gotta say the weather here in the winter is like perfection. It is a little cold up there, but it's not bad. What are you saying, it's cold up there? A little cold. It's about to get what really, really cold up there. All right, so Jacob's here. Yay! Mason, were Lincoln. you guys good while we were gone? Yes. Did you miss yes. me? I think we're all good. Were you good? Yeah. Good? I think we're all just in our room. Good enough? Those were like yeah. the most vicious <laughs> yeah. smiles I've I ever seen. I know. Yeah. Just, like, what did you guys do? Room. And played Fine. games and those yeah. like time to Played do. games and did nothing. Are you glad to be here? Mm -hmm. Very yeah. glad. Should we talk about our situation? Should we have we? a situation? Should we? Do we? Yes, we have a bit of a situation. We have a, situation. We have a little situation. Okay, so we weren't going to talk about this, but I've had a three and a half hour trip of just thinking about it. 
<laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So one of the things, let me just start out by backing up a little bit. One of my goals with this channel this year, or where I see this going, is a little bit different than what we've normally done. So I feel like for the past few years, I will kind of put my thoughts together at the beginning of the month and what kind of things do I want to film and what should we do and that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff. And um, I, I feel like I don't want to do that this year. I feel, oh. I know, I feel like this feels different for me. Um, I was watching um, like old videos and where I had such passion for our channel. And I would just pick up a camera and just whatever we got, we got. And I just mm -hmm. love that feeling. And I felt like, I feel like over the past few years, it's been almost kind of like draining. I don't know. Okay. I feel like as I make content um, and I think of things, then I feel like I have to take like a week break or things like that yeah. while I'm thinking. And I think I'm just overthinking everything. Oh. That makes sense. I'm overthinking it. We just, I, I worry about us being boring or putting out things that, I don't know, are just Aren't not watchable. Like yeah. who can be, who can be um, fun or entertaining every single day in yeah. your life? So it's hard. So I'm just not going to overthink it. I'm sorry if some of it's boring. We're just going to put out our daily lives this year. Um, mm -hmm. And with my goal of not overthinking things, um, we had something happen today. And I feel like I didn't say anything to you guys at first because I was so embarrassed. Like, so embarrassed. You're embarrassed? Yes. <laughs> A little bit. We're both embarrassed. <laughs> So today, well, they all kind of know what happened at Al okay, from so yesterday's yesterday, video. Yeah, if you saw yesterday or the day before, I don't know when this video is coming out. Um, video, you saw that um, we had Addison put in an order for Al for Al Cupidos. We rave about Al Cupidos. We love Al Cupidos. We talk still about, love Al Cupidos. We love it. We talk about how wonderful this little Mexican food place is. In, and every time we go, town. we always have to get it like more than once. Yeah, so. we yeah we usually when we go, we probably get it. At Cody's least messing three with the lights. Times. Turn oh, those back on, now. Cody. What? Oh, it's fine. Oh man, it's okay. It's okay. He did. Yeah. He did. It's good. Anyway, so we order from this little place, and um, we are really trying to get our kids in the habit of making phone calls, being able to make like your doctor's appointments, like those kind of things. We've had kids leave and they get nervous to do those things, and I remember being that way. Mm -hmm. And so I just feel like we want them to make as many phone calls as we can, including maybe putting in an order for our family. So we take them out of their box. So a we take bit. them out of their box a little bit. You saw her struggle with that. Um, she did call accidentally a um, different El Cupidos. The wrong location. The wrong yeah. location. Too far for us to go to get dinner. When we went to go pick up the order and realized yeah. like oh no we ordered at the wrong place it was like the five first, ten minutes after yeah it was like five ten minutes after we put in the order and the very first thing we did is call the other location and tell them we were like hey just to let you know we accidentally put in an order in your location we need to change it to this location did you guys already start making the food they said yes they, they started on one burrito one burrito so yeah, so we we're like, thank goodness we caught them in time. We felt so awful. We apologized. Seriously, because I, I called them back and I was like, it's the wrong one. So then I was like, I'm so sorry. She and apologized. They then called us back again. She then apologized again. Yes. We went to um, the St. John's location. Apologized to them. We felt so bad. Well, today, and so when and we, we still placed the order at the St. John's placed, location. Yeah, we went back to the house. You saw she placed the order. We went back, picked up the order, had dinner, apologized again. We thought everything was okay. Well, today when we got to, um, do we ordered El Cupidos again? For today. lunch on the way out. Yeah, yeah, as we were leaving and for lunch on the way out, we ordered it again. And every time we ordered, I mean, not that this really matters, but we ordered between like $150, $175 worth of food. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, there was a sign that said at the, By the register. location, it said, crazy middles cannot eat here anymore. I have never been banned from any Never. Ever. Not a store, not at anything. And yeah. so it feels, it feels awful. I just feel so embarrassed that that happened. I don't feel that we deserve to be banned. Um, when we got there, one of the ladies that works there that knows us, that's, or, I mean, we've been ordering for her for like years and years oh, yeah. and years. She's a good friend. She's such a great lady that works there and she apologized and she pulled the, the note off and she said that she was so sorry and that she'll straighten it out and she'll talk with the managers 
find out what happened and let us let them know that like we're like really good customers actually so and anyway. it's not like we're just like calling restaurants and like ordering food and then canceling it just for fun like yeah. we, we didn't do yeah, it we, don't do that. we didn't do it on purpose um after and i know i'm so sorry i know that this is gonna hurt everyone's feelings because everyone loves that restaurant so yeah. much but i've decided that that's fine we're gonna go ahead and just be banned and we will not go there any longer so because that was kind of messed up. We didn't do yeah. it on purpose, you know? It's fine, so anyway. So yes, we got banned from a restaurant today. I can't believe it. So anyway, okay, so there's our story for the day. Um, and I think we're all done for the night. Are we done, guys? Yes. I think so, yeah, yeah. We're all done, we're just gonna unpack, unwind, go to bed. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.